Scott, how do you feel tonight after that defeat? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just obviously just on the press conference. It's I've just said, you know, if you go a goal behind within three minutes, it's very difficult to take. Um, you expect the worst, but I know the players. I know they can stick together. I said before the game, you know, if they come out in the score early, we stick together. Believe in what we know. Believe in what we do. Believe in each other. Stick together. We can go again. You know, and it's just one of those where you you have to roll your sleeves up even after three or four minutes. You know, that goal's gone in. Uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a great goal. I've got to be honest. It was. I thought we'd won the ball on the edge of the box as well. I thought it was a little bit harsh on the free kick. So to come back from that and to grow into the game, I thought, you know, I'm proud of the lads for that. And I was in the team meeting today when you went through the game plan, and by and large, the team, the lads stuck to that. They did, yeah, you know, but they've not done anything different than what we uh, expected of them. We knew exactly the lineup. Um, we got 10 out of the 11 right. The only thing we didn't get right was the keeper, the change of the keeper. So I knew exactly the starting lineup, where it was going to play, um, the formation. The players know each individual and what they were going to do. So it wasn't a matter that we weren't um, ready for it. I think it was just, you know, on the night, they've got two goals. They could have scored at the end, could have been three. But I think on fair reflection, a two goal gap, um, you know, is, is a fair result. And we could possibly have pulled one back as well. Yeah, you know, you've got Scott Quigley there. Uh, he's racing through with the keeper. If there's anyone you want there to, to go through the middle of the pitch and try and dink the keeper or, or slide it past him, then, then, then Quiggs would be the man. You know, um, I just feel the second chance he had, I've got to see it again, but maybe he's, can he slide Jamie Mullen in? I don't know. I'd have to see it again. It happened very quickly. So we'll, we'll have a look at that again. But he's got into the positions and he's done fantastic in the, in the previous game. So. You know, I'm not going to hear. I'm not going to be here criticising Scott Quigley for for, um, for passing that up. All I've all I've told him is decision making. When you're in that position, make the right decision. And you said in the press conference here at Rijeka yesterday that if you could go into the second leg still in the game, you'd be happy. Do you think yeah. you are? Well, yeah, we're still in the game. It's two goals. You know, we're at home. We're playing on 3G. They might not like playing on the 3G. I don't know. They might they might be used to it. Uh, a lot of teams come to our place. And uh, you know, don't like playing on that 3G. So whether that's an advantage, disadvantage, I don't know. But all I know is that it's two goals. Uh, it's not four or five. You know, the tie's not dead, dead in the water. So we'll go again. We'll um, players will be off tomorrow, and then uh, we'll work at the uh, the things that we need to put right for next Tuesday. Well, Scott, thank you for your time this evening. Very much appreciated. Thank you.